Anyways, guys, we'll blast some Sage D. And we're here to watch some more Mr. Nightmare. And this video is going to be called Three True Freaky Pizza Delivery Horror Stories. I used to deliver pizzas not for very long, like three weeks or so, maybe a month. The link to this original video is going to be down in the description below, of course. Let go. I'll never forget this night. The pizza place I worked at was about to close and I was getting ready to go home when the phone rang. I was working the counter alone that night so I was taking calls. I picked up the phone. There was complete silence so I hung up. About a minute later the phone rings again so I pick up again. Still silence. I was about to hang up again when I heard the very weak and cold voice of an old woman on the other end. She said she wanted a regular pie delivered. I remained polite on the phone, but on the inside I was screaming. I just wanted to get home and end my shift. I called out to my boss that somebody is requesting a delivery. He told me I had to go. I was upset at first, but I realized it's another tip, and the old ones usually tip the most, so I decided it was okay. I took See? down the address and told her it would be there soon, but she had already hung up. I thought that was rude, but I ignored it and yelled to the chef that I needed one regular. My boss told me to just go home after the delivery as the place would be closed. So a little before 10 o'clock, I got in my car and put the address into my GPS. The house was 7 miles away. The GPS took me to the quiet side of town. I arrived to the house. It was a small, one-floor house on a very quiet and empty block. I took the pizza and walked up to the door and rang the doorbell. There were no lights on in the house. I hoped that she hadn't given me the wrong address. I rang the doorbell again. There was still no answer. I was about to give up when I turned my head and saw somebody standing at the window. I got a little freaked out and backed up at first, but I eventually got closer to the window to see the person. It was an old woman, probably in her late 70s. She was just staring at me with a blank expression. I yelled to her through the glass that I had her pizza. She didn't react to what I said, so I screamed it louder. A big smile ran across her face. Not a pleasant, genuine smile. It was a smile that sent chills down my spine. Run, bitch! I still remember that exact face she made through the window. I decided that I was freaked out enough and got back to my car and set the pizza in the passenger seat. I had to text my boss about this. I shot him a quick text and started my car, ready to get the hell away. I looked to my right to get one more look, to see the woman standing right outside my passenger side window, giving me the same stare she had given me before. I put my car in drive and floored it down the street, not looking back. My boss never made me do a late night delivery again. Thanks for watching. The fuck? <laughs> this happened four years ago when I was still in high school. I was told to do my last delivery of my shift. I got in my car, which was a 1999 Camry, perfect for delivering pizzas. I GPS the address of my phone. I live upstate in the country, so all pizza deliveries were long drives. I remember the sun was starting to set, so it was probably around 7 o'clock. I'd say after a good 15 minutes of driving through the foresty dirt roads, my GPS said I had arrived. It was an old little cottage-like house made almost entirely of wood. It was sitting all by itself in the middle of absolutely nothing but forest. The lawn was completely unkept as the grass was almost at knee height. I was used to this kind of thing, so I didn't think much of it. I took the pizza to the front door. There was no doorbell, so I knocked loudly on the door. Within 10 seconds, I heard the sound of footsteps hitting wood on the inside of the house. The footsteps made it to the door and stopped. I started to feel uneasy. I got the feeling that I was being watched. And that's when I noticed there was a peephole in the door. It's the pizza guy, I called out. I heard a low, harsh sounding voice on the other side of the door, telling me to bring the pizza out back. I didn't like the idea of going back there, something didn't seem right. Are you sure, sir? I called out. He didn't answer my question. The sound of footsteps didn't move away from the door, so I had the feeling he was still watching me. I almost found myself walking back to my car, but I decided I didn't want any trouble with my boss. 
No. The last time I brought a pizza back, he gave me attitude. So I reluctantly walked through the uncut grass and around the small house to the back. I remember there was a shed and a little patio back there. In the patio, there was a table with four chairs surrounding it. In one of the chairs facing away from me, I saw the head of somebody sitting in the seat. I began walking over and said, excuse me, but the person didn't even move an inch. Excuse me, I said again louder. Then from behind me, I heard, over here. I turned around to see a man poking his head out from the corner of the house, looking at me with a crazed smile. Come over here. I want to show you something. Fuck no! I no. freaked out, turned around, and ran around the house in the opposite direction, Run. back to my car, yep. for some reason still holding the pizza. I got in my car, started it, and got away from there. On my way back to the pizzeria, I pulled over to the side of the road and called the police. Eventually, I was informed that there was no sign of anybody having been in that house for a long time. I quit my delivery job a few days after that. I have no idea what would have happened to me had I gone up to that man, but to this day, I still wish I had just turned my head to see who or what was sitting in that patio chair. Nigga, why does it keep saying, <laughs> thanks for watching every time? Very polite person, obviously. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Next story. <laughs> I was doing late night deliveries during this particular shift. When I worked this job, I lived in the Poconos. It was very rural up there. I often found myself driving down roads surrounded by nothing but trees, just like this night. Only it was dark and foggy this time. Driving down a shortcut to town that I had taken many times before, I slam on the brakes when I see somebody jump out from the bushes onto the road. The sickening bump and thump from the front of the car confirmed that I had hit the person. I put my hand to my forehead, cursing to myself. I couldn't believe what just happened. I just hit a person. I got out of my car and checked to see if they were alright. It was a man wearing a black hoodie with the hood up. He lay motionless by my car tire. I had no idea what to do. At this point I was panicking. Why the hell was this guy in the middle of nowhere? Check his pockets. Why did he jump in front of my car? And then things got weirder. I can hear a scream. A scream for help coming from the woods to the left of me. Somebody was in trouble. I looked at the man I hid with my car. He was still on the ground motionless. I'd only be gone for a minute, I figured. For whatever stupid reason, I thought it was okay to leave the man behind to go into the woods. I moved in the direction I heard the scream originally, hoping to hear another. But it was just total silence, except for the night creatures making their sounds. Where are you? I yelled out. It was at that moment I heard the sound of a foot crushing the leaves on the ground. I turned in the direction of the sound, and even in the dark and foggy weather, I could still make out the figure of somebody hiding behind a tree opposite me. I ran as fast as I could back to my car, looking back constantly to make sure I wasn't being followed. When I got back to my car, the man I had hit was gone. I didn't stick around to wonder where he went, I just got back in my car and proceeded down the road. My heart was racing the whole drive through, but I still ended up delivering the pizza. I got to the house and when I rang the bell, a middle-aged woman answered. After paying, I noticed that her eyes focused on something behind me, and then she asked me, they let you guys have delivery partners now? I was confused and asked her what she meant. And she told me, you got someone with you in your car. I felt a pain in my stomach as I turned and saw somebody sitting in the back seat of my car. I called the cops using the woman's phone and they arrived shortly after, but the person in the back seat of my car was already gone. The scariest thing about this whole story, the police found a blood-stained knife on the floor of my car where the man was hiding. This memory still haunts me every day, and I can genuinely tell you, it's painfully scary just to imagine how things could have turned out if I hadn't made the delivery. It's possibly some of the scariest fucking shit I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Not only was the scary story is all of them fuck, scary story is all of them fuck. That's just fuck it all up, why don't I? <laughs> I think the scariest part of the story 
is the fact that it's so immersive and so well told and then the ambiance of the music and that insult to injury the goddamn background of the fucking story is you driving down a god rural road in the dark which is just god awful in every way shape or form uh yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video you know if you did make sure to check out the original video via the link in the description down below as always this is boy blasphemous hd do not l deliver pizzas <laughs> to abandoned homes you know just putting it out there and uh twisms make sure to check out my prank channel i'm uploading two brand new pranks every single week as this one you see on the left click the annotation if you want to watch that or look in the description where i'll leave a link for the people who are on phones and as always blasphemous hd out